Good morning guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel and I am in Japan. It feels so good to be back. As you guys can see, I just woke up. I've got my pajamas on still. But in case you guys don't know what's going on, I am back in Japan. I am in Tokyo for the next two weeks and I'm going to be daily vlogging exactly like I was in my last trip to Japan. So I am filming the next series of Hi Jessica Ann in Japan. So I hope you guys enjoy the videos that I have in store. I flew in from Melbourne to Tokyo here yesterday I had to get up really early and then I had the flight was pretty much the entire day by the time I got to Tokyo it was night time so there wasn't really all that much to show you guys in the footage first thing this morning I'm gonna head to the convenience store and grab something to eat because last night when I arrived at Narita Airport most of the places that sold like rice balls and things like that had already sold out so I had Pringles last night for dinner <laughs> Do you hear that? <laughs> and then I'm meeting up with my friend Yuma. If you guys have seen my last Japan series, I'll have the links in the description below. She came with us when we went to go myo karting around Tokyo. She's one of my best friends. We've done homestay with each other when we were in high school and we've kept in touch ever since. So I'm really excited to go see her. We're heading to Ebisu to get our nails done. And then we're gonna go and find a nice spot to go and see the cherry blossoms because it's spring right now in Japan and it's cherry blossoms season I've landed smack bang in the middle everything's already blooming there's a beautiful tree like outside my window right there I'm so excited to be here so I think I'm gonna go get dressed and get out of my PJs and then we're gonna head out so let's go guys can you see the cherry blossom up ahead So I just went to the nearby Lawson 100. Lawson 100, there are tons of convenience stores in Japan, but Lawson 100 is kind of like the health food version of just the regular Lawson, which is kind of nice. You can get heaps of fresh produce there, and I took advantage of it. So, <laughs> so first off, I got a punnet of cherry tomatoes. I got the cutest little avocados that I have ever seen in my life. These are only 100 yen each, so about a dollar. I'm going to use these and the tomatoes to have like avocado toast for breakfast this morning. And I'm starving. So for the toast, I just got a little loaf of bread. How good is the natural light in here, by the way? I got some sumo mandarins. I just wanted some sort of like saltiness to put on my avo toast, so I just got a little pack of mozzarella cheese. It was only one dollar, so I'm I got one onigiri, which is rice ball in Japanese. I absolutely love these. These are the easiest way to get a cheap and quick like meal on the go. It's basically just cooked rice inside a seaweed wrapper and then it has a filling in the middle. This one is tuna mayonnaise which is my favorite. And then lastly I just got some coffee. This is Cafe Ole. So I'm gonna make some breakfast now, have a coffee and then I'm heading out to ABC Station to meet with Yuma. We'll get our nails done. It should be really good. So let's eat. I'm starving. <laughs> dip all of your noodles into the soup and it's so yummy and we got our nails done too so I got Sailor Moon themed nails which I'll show you guys in a bit and Yuma got some really pretty like Sakura marble nails and now we're heading to Ebisu station so we're gonna go to Nakamegaro and hopefully 
it's not too crowded and we can go see cherry blossom. I'm so excited. <laughs> tickets to get into Shinjuku Gyoen. Okay, there's heaps of people here, but there is way more Sakura too. sweet have a little break for dinner so we've headed to cookie time which apparently is from New Zealand so there you go guys we just found a vending machine that has peach coke maybe it's sold out though shopping around Harajuku and Amatasando but we're pretty tired and pretty full. Yuma's actually taking me to what's it called like a sleep room? Yeah at the cafe. To a sleep cafe. Internet cafe. Internet cafe and you can book it for like an hour or whatever and you can have a little rest. So I think we're gonna go do that. We don't have anything like that in Australia so I'm kind of curious. I want to see what it's gonna be like so let's go. Like Suspicious. <laughs> so this is our room. I have to whisper because people are asleep. You take off your shoes. And yet this little room inside here. There's some hangers. A TV. You can charge this free train. such a great first day in Tokyo. I got through a lot. I got my nails done. I went to Nakameguro and Shinjuku Gyoen to go and see the beautiful cherry blossoms and oh my gosh, like in all of my four trips to Japan, not once have I seen real life sakura blossoming and it's just so beautiful and I feel really, really lucky and really happy that I got to actually see it in person for myself. So. I'm gonna hold that memory forever. And it was so good to see Yuma again as well. She and I have actually known each other for I think about eight years now. So when I first visited Japan, I came on homestay and I actually stayed with Yuma's family and that's how we met. We actually did a lot of shopping today so I thought I'll show you guys some of the stuff that I got. First we went to Lush because this apartment actually has a bath which is super exciting because my apartment back home does not have a bath which means that I can finally make use of this 
some of Lush's bath products. So I'll show you what I got. Oh, it smells so good. First, I got a bath bomb. This is the Twilight one, I think. I just thought it was so pretty and it matched my nails, so I couldn't resist. Look at that, it's so cute. And it smells kind of sweet and fruity. It's a little bit like you know those musk sticks that you had as a kid? That's what it smells like to me. And then I got some of their bath oils as well. I think these are actually new. I've never seen them in Australia. So I got four different ones in there. And they all smell really good. So I'm looking forward to giving those a try as well. If you're wondering why I have to speak softly, it's because the apartments around here are really close together and I don't want to disturb anyone because it's late. So hopefully you guys can hear me. Maybe I should make this an ASMR haul. <laughs> we also went to the NYX store as well. So it was their first store in Tokyo, I think Yuma was saying. So we went in there and they had, of course, some Japan only products that I hadn't seen yet. So I decided to pick up two lipsticks. These are the NYX Powder Puff Lippies. And I just got these in the shade squad goals and cool intentions they're just a really nice sort of neutral beige and then a neutral pink I also went to the pharmacy and picked up two of my favorite face masks if you guys have seen my other Japan videos you know that I love pure smile masks they are just nice hydrating sheet masks and I got the milk one and then the peach milk one I know that by the time I leave this trip I'm gonna pick up like 20 before I go back home because they are that good and then Yuma actually got me a birthday present as well we always send each other birthday presents every year but because my trip to Japan was kind of close to my birthday this year she gave it to me in person I already love the Shu Uramura cleansing oils but this one is in the limited edition Sakura one because it's spring right now so let's open it up so that is that guy there it's so pretty and then she also picked me up a little Prezi from Mac I did open this earlier. So this is actually a limited edition MAC lipstick. It's their collaboration with Nico Panda. So I think it's Japan only. But it's this really, really cute lipstick. And it kind of actually reminds me of Shu Uemura a little bit. You guys will see what I mean in a minute. This is the lipstick. How cute is that? And then it's a really nice deep purpley red. This will be really nice in winter because we're heading into it really soon in Australia. Thank you so much, Huma. You spoiled me. So it's actually like 10 past 12 now, which is like what, 10 past two Australia time. So I'm pretty exhausted. Thank you so much guys for watching my first Japan vlog of season two. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog. I am heading out to Aoyama to get my hair done. I'm getting a cut and color, just basically getting it cut shorter and then a bit darker I'm thinking, because we're heading into winter. And then I'm going shopping with Yuma in the afternoon. So stay tuned for that and I will catch you in tomorrow's vlog. Bye.